Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Um, sitting here doing some work, and I'm thinking about some ideas and some things that you might want to hear and uh, know about my life that uh, could possibly be enlightening or educational. So I want to tell you a little bit about the way I was raised uh, first before I get into this story. The way that I was raised was that anyone that didn't have this same skin tone was inferior. And, uh, you know, that was, that was just the, you know, the southern redneck way that I was taught. That, uh, you know, our parents taught us that, and their parents before them taught them that, and their parents before them taught that. And uh, it's very wrong. And uh, so I'm going to get into the story about how I became colorblind. So I was a Southern Baptist missionary, and uh, we would go to uh, Central America and uh, Guatemala, and uh, we would teach, you know, our Southern Baptist Christian values, and we would convert people. And uh, I was doing for Christianity what I'm doing now for Islam, and uh, and I, inshallah, I hope that I continue doing that for the rest of my life is spreading the word of Islam, and teaching people and helping people to uh, to understand what we believe. So the uh, work that we were doing that day, we were, we were out in the middle of the jungle. We were feeding people. We were bringing medicine to them. We were building uh, structures like churches and stuff like that. And I, had, uh, I was invited by a, a gentleman. Uh, his name was Lorenzo. And uh, he was he was really nice. He, he didn't speak a word of English, and uh, at that time I spoke uh, some Spanish enough to get along with everyone. <clears throat> so uh, he told me call him Tio, which Tio means uncle. So uh, Tio Lorenzo, he told me he says, look, he says we have a break coming, and I want to uh, invite you for lunch. And I said, okay. I said that sounds good. Let's go for lunch. And uh, so he goes over and he gets his bicycle and uh, he's we're he's pushing his bicycle we're going down a dirt road in the middle of the jungle and uh, he stops his bicycle and he puts the kickstand down he grabs his machete and he goes in the jungle and he chops a big bundle a bushel of bananas and he straps them down on that bicycle and uh, we continue trekking through this uh, trail in the jungle and then down the trail, of the uh, there's a little boy, and he's hollering, Papa, Papa. And the boy comes running up, and that's uh, Tio Lorenzo's son. And uh, he says, okay. He says, uh, he hugs him and kisses him, and uh, he, you know, just like any father and son would do. And uh, he sends him on down the, the path, and he said, uh, go tell your mother that uh, we're going to have company. And uh, so we're already at the house. The house is close enough to where I can see the mother. And uh, then the, the boy gets up there, mama, mama, you know, and so we get closer. And then the thing that she's sweeping is a dirt floor. She's sweeping and she's just wanting the best for me, the best, you know, best experience. And uh, so they bring, it's the, the, the place where the dining table was. It was outside and uh, under, under a little, uh, uh, little shed. And uh, they get those bananas and they start cutting those bananas and they that's what we were having for lunch we were going to have bananas for lunch and uh you know we just found them along the way we he had no plan they just living living day by day and uh so at that point i started crying and i realized that there is no difference between what's on the inside as what's on the outside we all the same on the inside and our outsides are different, but we're all the same. We all want the same things. We want to give people the best that we can give them. We want to love. We want to be loved. We want to respect. We want to be respected. And that day, from then on, I never saw anyone as different or inferior or a different color. I saw as it's all the same. We're all human. And it was, it was from... Me growing up, my mother, the values that my mother taught me of, you know, you better tell me when someone's coming or I'm going to beat the, beat the Lord out, out of you. And uh, so 
that was the day that uh, that I became colorblind, and I never thought of anyone as a different race or a different color was different than me. So that brings us to the lesson that I want to talk about is that you look at a slave that went on top of a mosque and called our call to prayer. Black is the night, and uh, he was he was bought and sold, but yet. Our prophet raised him up and uh, allowed him to call the prayer, the Adhan. And uh, I, I've always loved the story of Bilal, and uh, it's, it's one of my favorite stories. And uh, I just want to, in closing this message, I want to tell you that we are all the same. We are all exactly at the same level. The only difference in us is our deen and our religion. And uh, inshallah, that, that's the main thing that we're worried about is we're worried about our deeds and we're worried about our character and we're worried about propagation of our religion and uh, the, our books and the memorization. And we, that should be the only thing that matters and that should be our status, that uh, how great we are with our God and how great we are with others, not a color. Color is only superficial. It's only what you see on the outside. And in the end of times, when we go and we stand before our Maker to be judged, we're not going to be worried about color. We're going to be worried about our deeds.